Hi, welcome to PMQ's Pizza Demo Kitchen. To, I'm Anna, this is Brian, and today we're gonna make pizza. What kind of pizza are we making today, Brian? We are going to be making a bacon cheeseburger pizza. Mmm, sounds delicious. It is delicious. So, how are we gonna do this? First thing that we're gonna need is obviously a dough ball. I use about 16 ounce dough ball. We're gonna need some bacon. You can cook some up, or you can buy the pre cooked bacon at the grocery store. Just kind of rip it up into about you know dime sized pieces. You're gonna want some American cheese because that really sets off the flavor of a cheeseburger. Some pickles, you can, your preference of pickles, it's all about how you like your cheeseburger. So we just picked the regular hamburger dills, chopped them up again in about quarter size pieces and then uh, same thing with our white onion because that has a more robust flavor um, in your face flavor than a red onion. So. And we're still gonna use the mozzarella. And mozzarella too. and some mustard. Ah, mustard. That's an interesting twist to pizza. It is, it, but it really, without it, it's pizza doesn't work at all. So, first thing we're going to do... Is Every we, good cheeseburger needs some mustard. Yeah, exactly. We are going to slap out our dough. So you got to keep good flour there to keep it from... Just, uh, just to keep it rolling so it doesn't stick to the table. Push down the edges a little bit, leave a little bit of a crust, leave a thick center so that when you slap it out, it has something to stretch. Ooh. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. We it's a get fancy cheeseburger. <laughs> this is why I'm wearing an apron, not because I'm cooking, because he's slinging. Flour goes flour everywhere. Flour on me. Want to get your board all greased up? All right, one more time. Woo! One day I'm gonna learn how to do it. <laughs> There are plenty of classes online at Pizza Theater with Juan Hermosillo. You can view them at pizzatv.com. All right, so now we've got a good dough. We're going to take our sauce, probably about three ounces, just right in the middle. That looks good, bright, pretty red. It smells yeah. good, too. This is just made with some salt, sugar, um, and crushed whole peeled tomatoes. So it's just and tomatoes? And some garlic, and a little bit of garlic. Yep. I always thought pizza sauce was more complicated than that. Uh, some can be, some need to be. This is just a simple one. It's got a little bit more sh sugar. This is a little bit sweeter, which almost kind of acts as the ketchup in this dish. So. And dip our french fries in that later. For sure. I always give it a little wobble just to make sure it has not stuck. So next thing we're gonna want is a little bit of mozzarella just on the bottom. Kind of a light dusting around it. I like more cheese in that. Well, it's gonna get more cheese in that, for sure. <laughs> we take some hamburger that we've grilled up prior. We're going to evenly distribute that throughout the whole area. I'm gonna break up some of these bigger pieces. I think we need a little bit more right here. Is that good? So just lightly tap. I'm not smashing them down, but I want to make sure that this still rolls. Now, when you browned your hamburger meat, you you pour the grease off, or do you rinse your meat? Or? Um, yeah, as much as you want. I, I actually just used paper towels, dabbed it. Cause that, you know, that grease is gonna add a little bit of flavor anyway. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna take some of our bacon. And you want a little bit less bacon than like beef coverage, just because it's such a good, f strong flavor. It's all about how you like your cheeseburgers. And this is like a farmer lover's pizza. We've got beef, we've got pork, we've got mm -hmm. dairy, we've got tomatoes. All right, and put some onions on there. White onion's got a nice kick. You can even go as far as maybe adding some uh, chopped diced tomatoes. That might be just too much tomato with the sauce and the tomatoes. So. I don't know, in the summertime when they're ripe and they're good. That's true. Probably add a little bit to it. So. We don't put the pickles on yet. I next thing we're gonna do. Excuse me here. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the rest of our mozzarella, just kinda. Cover it up. Cover it up. What separates us from the Chicagoans? That a word? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't either. 
Chicago Ites. I don't know. I like Chicago deep dish pizza. All right, so. All right, and then put a little bit of pickles on the top. What about that? We're gonna put this on afterwards oh, and right. let it melt on, because otherwise, when this stuff burns, it gets black and it gets a very bad char taste, and it's not fun. Not fun at all. Makes you sad to lose that See. such a good tasting cheese to overcooking. The difference in here and a fast food is we're gonna spread our pickles out instead of putting all four together yeah. on the burger. And we do, we do. We want to bring them further out to the edge and then kind of work our way inside. Oops! I got two stacked up. I can go work at McDonald's now. White Castle extra pickles. <laughs> Just remember. That's pretty. Is that good? That's oh good. wait, there's one missing right there. Yeah, that worked. Yep, very good. And then we're going to just try to make sure we're not going to lose any of this and just give it another little scooch. You knocked off my pickles. There we go. We're good. Yum, yum. Now, how long do we put it in the oven? All right, we've got this oven at 535. So, I'm going to set this here in the oven, scoot it off, and let that cook for probably four or five minutes. Check it anywhere between three and five minutes just to make sure it's not burning on one side. And then when it comes out, what we're gonna do is we are going to... Dress it. Yeah, we are, first we're gonna put on this American cheese and we are going to thumb size medallions, something like that, and just let it melt. So we wanna do it really fast as soon as it comes out of that oven. We're ready to pull this pizza out of the oven here. So why don't you go ahead and grab your peel. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. This is my pizza. And when you pull it back, do the same thing. <laughs> there you go, there you go, pull it out. Voila! Very, that was that's awesome. So okay, so the next last step, real quick, you and I, we're oh, gonna right. take this American cheese. There's nothing like the flavor of American cheese to sit off a bacon cheeseburger here. And catch the heat of the pizza. So that it gets in there and melts, melts it down nicely. Maybe we just chuck it back in the oven for like 15, 20 seconds. Hold on, I got a few more. Oh, you're just loading it up there, okay. Well, no sense in wasting good cheese. I, I thought you were lactose intolerant, so I. No. I did not. I really I didn't I support know. the dairy industry. <laughs> so we're just going to check this in there one real quick. And usually that'll, you know, it'll melt in the pizza box. The heat of the pizza will make it melt anyway. For the sake of making it look pretty here real quick, we're just going to old-fashioned microwave it. See, it's already going down now. All right. Can we decorate it? Yeah, so let Let's go ahead and get this. The last element here is mustard. When you want fine strip, well, however you want it. But you want it to evenly distribute so that there's, you know, every bite. Can I practice somewhere first? Not at all. I don't want that juice on there. Voila. Oh, picky, picky. Do you want me to go the other direction? No, I think it might be too much. I think what you did right there is damn near perfect. So. And there we have our cheeseburger pizza. Yay. Very nice. Thank you very much, Anna. It's time to That's eat. That's beautiful. Is that your first pizza you've made? That is my first pizza. That is spectacular. Unless you count Totino's party pizzas. Ryan, thank you for showing us how to make a cheeseburger pizza today. This looks delicious. I can't wait for us to go have us a slice. Let's cut it up and get the chowing down. Well, that about wraps us up. We hope to see you again next time. Bye-bye.